what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it Go ahead. what's well, good I just finished up grinding my second set of trunks and I'm gonna keep them at UR status and I am gonna rainbow this guy. Honestly, I've uh, been thinking about it ever since it got released of uh, you know the LR version coming out. I wanted another one rainbow status just to have uh, really honestly for uh, collection purposes but you know since I've went ahead and done it, uh, let's go ahead and you know see how they link up and you know if it's a if it's a good linking setup you know if they're good partners you know within events uh, it could be you know a, a good free to play option so we'll go ahead and test this out and see how it is as always definitely make sure to like the video if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button so obviously initially it's gonna take a little while to get everything set up and and you know the rotation sorted out but uh, I did bring in units like the physical uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that provides that 35% increase to attack and defense. I also brought the agility uh, Youth Gohan that provides 25% increase to attack for um, agility types. So we'll kind of test this around and see how uh, you know these two units linked up do. I, I do understand you know within Boss Rush 5, uh, it's very limited in terms of you know how many battles they have with two or more enemies. So you know don't worry about that. I'm gonna test this again on Super Battle Road when it comes back uh, this weekend. So we'll go ahead and r run that again uh, in a few days, and and we'll see how they do on on a setup like that. So hopefully you know this will kind of uh, give you an idea if it's worth actually going through another grind just for the UR version. I mean. You know, getting the UR status uh, at max SA, unlocking all four dupe paths, that's really not going to take that much time. It's, uh, you know, the drop rates are very good for that unit. Uh, probably close to like 40% chance of getting the, the drop every every run. So it's, it's not bad. And, you know, it's it's certainly a good option if you're struggling to, to build a deck or you currently don't have as good of a deck, you know, and you're building your team up. Uh, I mean, it's a good option to have. I mean, obviously the UR version doesn't have anywhere close to the the passive skill of, you know, 20,000 increase to attack and defense uh, when facing two more enemies like the LR Trunks does, but he has, you know, 8,000 increase to attack and defense uh, with the passive skill when facing uh, two, more, two or more enemies. So it's, it's not bad. And I think uh, the flat rate of attack increase of 10,000 is, is what it is with the... Um, the uh, UR version so uh, decent enough stats I mean if you think about it I think the max uh, attack for this guy at a hundred percent is like close to 12,000 so uh, 10,000 increase of attack is is roughly 95 percent if you change it to uh, percentages so it's not a bad increase um, at that level so yeah uh, we'll kind of see how uh, these two guys do I mean so far I mean the UR version of trunks seems to be very decent um, even in a you know setting like uh, boss rush five so what you know the orbs invested uh he's not really a bad choice either uh granted he doesn't hit hit anywhere close to the level of the lr version but i mean that's pretty obvious you know what i'm saying so it is what it is but at the same time like he seems like a pretty good unit to to have uh included especially uh since they both fall into the future category Again, the Perfect Cell Extreme Z Battle is a tech event, so they're going to have type disadvantage, but um, I'm probably going to test it out and see how both versions do on that setting and, um, <clears throat> you know, see how much of a, a disadvantage gets offset by the fact that, you know, they get a attack and defense bonus with that Z Battle, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I've actually built a uh, future Saga team without you know the future Gohan I built one with the um, intention of having LR trunks as the uh, category lead so basically I'm gonna run through the extreme Z battle against perfect cell with the um, uh, double lead uh, LR agility feature trunks and hopefully I'll be able to get through stage 30 or whatever levels required to get enough of the medals to get uh, perfect cell to level 140 and, and SA level of 15 but I don't know, I didn't really see or hear too many things about uh, these two guys linking up. The reason why I wanted to test this out more than anything is because both of them share the Cold Judgment uh, link skill. That's going to increase defense by 20% 20 20%. so 
In addition to their uh, secondary passives, you know, how beneficial would that cold judgment link skill help? You know, so all those factor into kind of seeing, you know, what what's the best approach for uh, team building, especially for uh, a free to play scenario. The UR version of the future trunks, I mean, he seems to be hitting for a decent amount. I mean, decent enough to where it might be worth uh, Rainbow in the Sky. I mean, 500,000 with the critical against the Gohan unit. Uh, certainly not bad, obviously, against much, much tougher bosses. He's not going to hit to that level, but I could certainly see, like, you know, 300 to 400,000 with the critical, probably. Um, you know, depending, depending on the boss, obviously, but... Um, yeah, I mean, he seems to be doing pretty well for the most part. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and get the uh, Doka mode with this guy. Um, since I've already done it with the LR version, let's see how, you know, the UR version's uh, Doka mode attack will be. Unfortunately, it's going to be type disadvantage, but hopefully uh, a critical will activate. I did give him level 11 for additional attack and level for 15 for criticals. Since, you know, he's not going to be the hardest hitting unit, I figured criticals would be beneficial to have in this case. That's why I gave him 15. Uh, so, yeah, no criticals on that one, but he did hit for about 365. That's pretty low considering it is. Uh, it was Dokkan mode, but, you know, it's all good. If anything, the biggest advantage of setting these two guys linking together would be you know that defensive ability uh with the uh, passive skills and also the link skill um granted it's not the best scenario to test this because very few enemies in boss rush 5 uh have two or more uh per battle so like i said with the uh, super battle road coming back on the weekend i'll, I'll test this out again Now, it would have been nice if the uh, TUR version uh, had the uh, different name, like it had the same name as the UR version, it wasn't Super Saiyan. You know, if that was the case, uh, probably a better version, like the TUR version definitely has a better uh, overall stats and then better um, uh, passive skills, so it would have been beneficial if it was the case, but I mean, it's still, it's still not bad. I mean. You know, if you give him additional attacks and criticals, like, he, he could certainly do pretty well. Like, against Ultimate Gohan, he was able to put out about, you know, 320,000 without the critical activating. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's more than respectable in my books. I mean, obviously a hell of a difference between the LR. I mean, the LR just hit for, for about 1.5 million with the critical. So there is a hell of a difference, but um, together, I mean, they could do pretty well. And uh, yeah, I, I do want to go ahead and mention that, yeah, um, I'm sure everybody's aware of the situation in Global with the, uh, you know, Tech uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Global Exclusive Unit that glitched and some players ended up getting, you know, one or two copies and uh, other players didn't get anything. So, you know, there's emergency maintenance going on right now and I'm sure Bandai's freaking the fuck out, uh, figuring out what's the right approach and what's the right thing. I know there's a running meme going on, you know, with Global about, you know, that version always getting shafted and, you know, the one Dragonstone compensation type deal. Hopefully that's not the case. I mean, in my books, this is a pretty big fuck up. Uh, so they need to correct themselves and they need to compensate players accordingly. Like, honestly, like, I, yeah, I did see in the comments, like 300 Dragonstones compensation, like JP did for a, for a, I wouldn't say similar fuck up, but I mean, in terms of like, um, gravity of the situation. I mean, it's not quite to that extent, but I think 300 stones, I mean, that's more, you know, that I'm sure everybody will be happy with that. Um, I'm probably thinking realistically, um, at the very minimum, they should probably give out uh, at least 50 dragon stones, enough to be <clears throat> enough for, you know, players to be able to pull a, a multi summon. Um, in addition to that, I think, honestly, they should just go ahead and give out copies of at least the tech version. I mean, you know, 
if, if you're not gonna give out five copies, at least give out one. That way, you know, people will have one, and if they decide to to pull on the banners to get dupes for it, you know, you've got the dragon stones you've already compensated for it as, as well as a free unit. I mean, that's probably what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see what happens. At the end of the day, nobody knows except for Bandai and Ak Akatsuki and um, you know whoever's a part of that affiliation. But back to the uh, you know the duo right here. I mean they, they're yeah they're doing pretty well um, and the UR version is doing good enough to where it's acceptable for me anyway to to get to 100% potential. Now I did say and I'll say it again that mainly I wanted to do this as a collection purposes. I wanted I really love the card art design for the UR version um, so. That's kind of why I was like, you know, I, I wouldn't mind having this guy rainbow just just for collections, but you do see 70,000 uh, in defense and then 125,000 for the LR trunk. So defense wise, I mean, it's pretty good compared to other units as you as you saw. So when they're facing two or more enemies and the one and, and the pass is active. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're they're very, very good. And it's going to mess up the rotation here, but I wanted to put them in the second and third slot just so they would get attacked and we'll actually be able to see how their de their uh, defenses so 500,000 against uh, type advantage with Goku and then barely any damage with uh, the normal attacks we'll see how it is with the super yeah very little damage taken so even with the UR version he uh, can definitely do pretty well So we're on to the uh, Super Vegito event, so we'll go ahead and close it out uh, with you know these two setups. Obviously, unless a critical hits, they're not really going to put out too much damage. Uh, this is really what the um, you know battle requirements or restrictions are. So hopefully it does, and we'll be able to see a, a good good amount. And this will actually be a good opportunity to see the uh, defense. So 60,000 is still pretty good defense-wise, and that was only with uh, you know one enemy present on the field. So if there was two or more enemies with that same setup, you know the defense would have been much better. So uh, yeah, 60,000 in defense against uh, a super is is actually pretty good. All right, so this is pretty much how the setup was. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching as always.